Dobry deň kamarec a nola kompaneros. New Vita Hombro is here, let's get cracking. Hello darkness, my old friend. First, we got new eFootball 2024 ISO for PSP that you can play on your PS Vita via Adrenaline. It is in English language with English commentary. There are like 8 modes. You can play via ad hoc. Not sure about online, perhaps not. There are all the well-known teams from all around the world. Here I'm playing with Manchester United at Old Trafford. It has the PS5 style camera. I'm not really into these football games, because it's basically the same game like in previous years, but with different player skins and whatnot. But if you are a football fan, it might be worth checking out. It was shared on our Discord by an enthusiast. He's been kicked out already because he got triggered by a warning on his crossbow. I mean, we are all people, so why not to try to get along instead of getting triggered? Taking the Sousa family to play it forward. It's got through and... Huh. That's now 3 3 a player on form. Second, we've got GTA 3 Real Mod that was shared also on our Discord by a member who luckily didn't get triggered. He's still with us, sharing all kinds of cool GTA mods. Shout out to you McFly, your work is much appreciated. This GTA 3 Real Mod is from old school modding times. It changes everything, textures, cars, buildings, signs on them. The map and missions stay the same. But now you can drive inside Mercedes, Volkswagen Passat, Monster Truck, Tank and even F-16 fighter jet. It doesn't fly like planes in Vice City, but hey, it's still a jet. Most of the shops, signs and other locals have been changed to real life brands and names like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Pilsner. Performance is unchanged as far as I've seen. This is very nice mod, I'm a big fan. It takes about 2.6 gigabytes. Check out our Discord in case you want to find out more. McFly also shared his beta port of old school GTA Vice City Deluxe 2 mod. It is similar to GTA 3 real mod. Map remains the same, but everything outside changes. So there is now even Pizza Hut or Burger King. This mod is quite heavy for Vita. Our EVC is poorly optimized and unstable when using mods. That means it has choppy frame rate and also expects some crashes. I haven't installed this one, it might be better in the future, but the GTA 3 real mod is really enjoyable. Genki za udostempnenje kumple. Now quick shout out to the new channel supporter Light Archives. Your support is greatly appreciated. Plus also big up to all the long time channel supporters. Jarek Smith, Daniel David, Dalai Lama, Joseph Sandander. You are the best. Next, Vita Freaky Android emulator is now on version 10. Asynchronous shader compilation has been implemented that significantly reduces stutters caused by shader compilation and it also increases shader compilation time by 2-3 times. It also fixed some performance regressions from version 9 and there were also some graphical fixes for double buffer, plus much much more. If you are using it, I'm sure you already updated it, because I'm always a bit late to the party. Very nice update, keep it up! Now I would like to talk about a new YouTube channel I came across. It is called Suicidal Robot Games. It's run by indie developer. He made already a few interesting videos. One of them being developing homebrew for PS Vita. He summarized it all in there nicely in 5 minutes 50 seconds. People are always asking about this stuff, so I thought I'm gonna share it here with you. It is not a tutorial, but it is a good starting point of uh, how to develop homebrew for Vita. Link is down below, tell him Chuck have sent you. I'm also including message from Renegatamente from his Discord, where he shared how to port Android games to Vita. This is also a very common question, so here is the answer for you in a nutshell. Solid C knowledge and basic reverse engineering capabilities are a must and you can read the rest by yourself if you want to know more. It was quite interesting to read even for me as a non-developer. We have also received one new port by Hatovin, Geometry Dash. Thanks to him for the hard work. This title is absolutely unforgiving and challenging rhythm based action platformer and it only requires you to press one button. In spite of that, it is still loads of fun. It has cool soundtrack, it is quite addicting, plenty levels to beat, 
you can unlock new cars and colors for character customization. It is running at battery smooth 60 FPS. And if you want to save your progress, remember you need to press start and exit instead of pressing home button and swiping away like we always do in it. Now very important, before you install it, you must install new plugins that were just released and without them the game is not going to be able to run. It is using FMOD, which is a proprietary sound effects engine and these plugins will basically install FMOD Studio on your Vita, if I'm not mistaken. Official way of installing them contains multiple steps like installing official game, then another VPK, running it, then going into app directory and copying the plugins into UR0 data folder. I think many people will use unofficial way, they will get the plugins already extracted from out there and all is left to do is to put them into UR0 data folder. This is very important, UR0 data. And even if you don't want to install the game, I would install the plugins anyway, because I'm sure more games will be coming out that will not run without them. This is very good news, because I remember many games couldn't be ported because they were using FMOD for sound, and even if the game was running ok, we wouldn't have audio because it was using FMOD. But now it looks like there is a way for more goodness to reappear. Rin has also specified what exactly can and cannot be ported related to FMOD, you can see it right now on the screen. I'm very excited to see what else can be brought to life. You know what else I'm very excited about? About this Facebook post. Facebook? Does anybody still use it? Looks like yes. Many PS Vita gamers Latin Americana are still using it. And very often. The post goes something like this. It is official. Modern Combat 3 development for PS Vita has begun. I received confirmation of the development I already made my donation. For those able to contribute, do so here. Friends, keep in mind that if we contribute, we activate the interest of developers. So if you want to see more jewelry, we must bring in. These are not my words. This is what the post says. I've contacted Glintwine to see if it's true and he confirmed it. That means if you want to activate his interest even more and if you want to bring to life modern combat, we need to contribute. We need to join Gamers Vita Latino Americana and we need to contribute as well. I've already made my donation. I wish it can be more. If you can also contribute, please do so on his Patreon or PayPal. Even if it's just five bucks, it's still worth it. Cause the more of us, the higher the chance. You know how it works. Thanks too for watching. Thanks to members and Patreons for support. Peace out.